Hi dear students welcome to today's math class what we are going to learn today do you want to know it come let's see today we are going to discuss two new topics the first one is word problems and its solutions we already learn addition of numbers in our previous classes right today we are going to discuss word problems and its solutions on addition okay the next topic is estimate or round off numbers to the nearest tens it may be a new topic for you but don't worry through the example ma'am will explain it and it will be easy for you okay then let's start come now listen the story children Dev he is a child studying third standard like you one day he went to a bakery and bought five galaxy chocolates eight snickers and three twix then we have to find how many chocolates does he has in total okay then it's very simple right children by adding these numbers we will get how many chocolates he has in total right but see this answer children if anyone looks at the single answer only they couldn't be able to identify what is meant by 5 here what is meant by 8 here for what we wrote 3 here right for that we have to mention what is represented by 5 what is represented by 8 for what we wrote 3 here Okay, so how it works? Let's see. Here already given, there are five Galaxy chocolates, eight Snickers, and three Twix. Okay, so while solving a problem, we have to write all those things as statements or steps. How? See. we know that it's given that there are five galaxy chocolates they went to shop and bought five galaxy chocolates how we mention in the answer it number of galaxies five how many snickers they bought eight snickers that means number of snickers eight how many twix they bought they bought three twix so number of twix three so what we need to find total number of chocolates how we'll get by adding these 3 5 plus 8 plus 3 is equal to 16 right children if anyone look at this answer it's very clear that there are five galaxy chocolates eight snickers and three twix right children then let's move to another example it's a question from your textbook read this question Azu's school has two hundred and sixty-seven whiteboards, three hundred and ninety-eight chairs, and eight hundred and sixty-four benches. What is the total furniture in the school? We need to find total furniture in the school. So first, we have to draw a table like this. For what? Yes, to add the numbers that we already learned in our previous classes. then how we write the statements c first we have to write number of whiteboards it's already given in the question there are 267 whiteboards that one we can write here in the table according to its place values right okay so where we have to 267 yes we have to write 267 in this table where we have to write 2 which column yes 2 is in hundreds place so we can write 2 is in hundreds column where 6 of course 6 is in tens column and where 7 yeah 7 is in ones column the same way how many chairs are in the school it's given 398 so number of chairs we have we can write here 3 9 is in tens place and eight is in yes ones place so how many benches are there 
Yeah, that also given 864 benches are here. So we can write 8 is in, yes, 100 column, 6 is in, 10 column, this is 6, and 4 is in, 1 column. Clear children? So, next, what is the next? Yes, we have to add these numbers. Start from 1s, 20s, 100s and so on. Okay. Then 7 plus 8 plus 4. What? 19. But we can write 9 here. 1 carry over here. So 1 plus 6, 7. 7 plus 9? Yes, 16 plus 6, 22. So we can write 2 here. Then 2 carry over here. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 8, 15. Can we write 15 here? No, we can write only 5 here. Then 5, 1 is in thousands place. Clear children? So how many furnitures are there? Total number of furniture in the school is 1529. Is it clear children? Okay, now let's move to next topic. What's our next topic? Yes, our next topic is rounding numbers. What's rounding numbers? See this picture children. There is a curved line like this. The numbers are marked from 0 to 10 here. Then verse stands 5. Yeah, 5 is in the middle and on the peak. Then it is given here that 5 or more let it so. What is meant by it? That we are going to discuss here. Rounding of numbers nearest to tens. Suppose if the number reached high, reached high, that means reached on 5, then now it will go up. The number will go up. That means let it so the number will go up if the number is less than 5 or 4 or less than 4 it will go down the number will go down it will be clear if we discuss one example let's see here some numbers are given then how we write round of the numbers how we round off the numbers nearest to tens that we are going to Discuss here. Okay. The given number is 23. How we round off the round of 23 nearest to tens. So can you see a line here? Yes. The line starts from 20 and ends up 30. Okay. Which one is in the middle? Of course, 25 is in the middle number of 20 and 30. So the given number is 23. If the 23 is less than 25 or more than 25? Yes, 25 is less than 23. So, when we round off the number 23 nearest to its tens, what answer we will get? Yes, we will get 20 because 23 is less than 25 and it is nearest to 20. Okay. Then see the next number. It's 37. So 37 is it less than 35 or more than 35? Of course, it is more than 35 and it is nearest to 40. So we can say when we round off the number 37 nearest to its tens, we can write 40. Okay. Then can you see the next one, children? It is 61. Yes, it is less than 65 and nearest to the number 60. So, when we round off the number 61 nearest to its tens, we will get 60. The same way, can you say the next answer? Yes, it is 90 because 89 is more than 85 and nearest to 90. What about 96? Yes, it is 100 because 96 is more than 95 and it is nearest to 100. Is it clear children? Okay, let's move to 
Next example. Here we have a number 1585. We need to round off the number to its nearest tens. Okay. As per we learn now, we can draw a line like this and can mark 1580 here and 1590. So where we mark 1585? Yes, in the meeting. Okay, so we learned that if it is the number in the middle or greater than the middle number, it will go up. So what will be the answer here? Yes, of course, 1590 is the round off number of 1585 to its nearest tens. Is it clear, children? Okay. So here is another example for you. The number 88. And what is the answer when we round off this number to its nearest to 10? Yes, as per we learn, we will draw a line and we'll mark 80 here and uh, 90 here and we'll mark 85 in the middle and we'll check with the position of 88. The yeah, position of 88 is more than 85. Here, so round off number is 90. But it's difficult in large numbers, right? So here ma'am is going to disclose a trick to round off a numbers without drawing a line like this. Would you like to know it? Listen. Suppose a number 462. How do we round off this number? to its nearest tens without drawing that line. For that we have to follow some rules or some steps. The first step is look at the digit in one's place. Which digit is in one's place here? Yes, it is 2. The next step check whether the digit is less than or more than 5. Okay. So the digit in one's place is 2. Next we have to check whether 2 is less than or more than 5. What is it? Yes, simple. 2 is always less than 5. If the digit in one's place is less than 5, nothing more. You just write the digits in hundreds and tens place. And instead of the digit in one's place, you can write 0 here. So, we can say that when we round off the number 462 to its nearest tens, we will get 460. Is it clear children? There are some rules and steps. First check the digit on one's place. If it is less than 5, nothing more. Just put 0 in one's place instead of that digit. Clear? Then... Let's see another number. 527. Okay. So, first what we have to do? Yes, we have to check the digit in one's place. Which digit is here? It's 7. The next step is what? Check whether 7 is more than or less than 5. Yes, 7 is always more than 5. Okay. So, we learned that if the digit is less than 5, we just want to put a 0 instead of the digit. But if the digit is more than one, more than 5, what we have to do? Yes, if the digit is more than 5, we just add 1 to the number in tens place. Okay? So, we will get what number 5? The same 5. The tens place, which number? 2 is there, then if we add 1 to 8, it will become 3. Okay, so we get 5, 3. Then instead of the 1's place digit, the same as we put 0. Is it clear children? First we have to check the digit in 1's place. If it is more than 5, we go to 10's place and add 1 to that digit. So here 2 is in tens place. 2 plus 1, 3. Write, rewrite the hundreds place digit the same. Then this after adding these two numbers we get 
3 then in ones place as usual put 0. Is it clear children? So these are the things we learned today. The first one how we solve word problems. The second one round off the number nearest to its tens. Clear children? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's take another number. 527. We have to round off 527 to the nearest tens. Okay. First what we have to do? Yes. We have to check the digit in one's place. Which digit is in one's place? Yes. 87. What is the next step? Yes. Check whether the digit is less than or more than 5. Okay. Then, yeah, 7 is always more than 5. We learned that if the digit in one's place is less than 5, we just want to put a 0 instead of that digit. But if the digit is more than 5, what we have to do? Listen, if the digit is more than 5, we need to add 1 to the digit in tens place. Dear children, if the digit in ones place is more than 5, we need to add 1 to the digit in tens place first. Okay, the number in the digit in hundreds place is same as the number. Okay, then tens place which number we can be right? 2 is there, then 2 plus 1, 3 is there. In 1's place, we put 0. Okay, as per we did in the previous example. 1's place, we put 0. 10's place, add 1 to the digit in 10's place. So, we got 3. Then 100's place digit is same. So, we can say 530 is the round of number of 527. Is it clear children? Okay. Let's take another example. Suppose 785. Okay. We learned that first we have to check the digit in ones place. Okay. It is 5. We learned that if the digit is less than 5 we know what we want to do. If the digit is more than 5 also, we know what we want to do. But if the digit is equal or same as 5, what we have to do? Nothing. We have to do. We have to follow the same steps we are following in the digit is more than 5. Okay. The same step. Write the hundreds place digit like this and add 1 2 in the 1 2 to the tens place digit so now 8 is here then when we add 1 to it it become 9 then instead of 5 instead of the digit in ones place we put 0 so when we round off the number 785 to the nearest tens we get 790 Okay, children, if the number is, if the digit is greater than or equal to 5, we have to follow same step. Is it clear, children? So, what are the things we learned today? Yes, first we learn how to solve a word problem by writing statements or by writing steps. The second one, we learned round of a number to the nearest tense. It's clear children. Okay. Thank you.